Hey everyone, Tendra here. This week we had 10.2 arrive, and with it, the Emerald Dream opened up. I've been spending a lot of time over there, and so far it's been pretty fun. I've managed to get three Dream infusions so far, and I've bought two of the mounts from the vendor. The first one I got was Mammoth. This is the Green Translucent Mammoth, and even though I'm not a huge fan of the Translucent mounts, this is one more mount I can add to my collection. And the other one I got was Talent. And even though this mount is translucent also, it is another mount to add to my collection. Out of the Emerald Bounties, I did manage to get three new mounts. All of the mounts came from the Purple Seeds, and the first one I got was Snowfluff Dream Talon. That's one of the new Cat Raptor mounts, and it looks pretty cool, so I was really happy to get this. The next one I got was the Evening Sun Dream Saber. This is a cat mount, and it's a pretty good looking one. And the final mount I got was the Winter Night Dream Saber. I do really like this one. The colorings look really good to me. But besides messing around out in the Emerald Dream, I did get into my normal weekly farms. So let's take a look and see how I did. So this week, like normal, I started off with my weapon transmog farm. This is the only weapon I'm currently transmog farming, and it's the Scythe of the Onmaker. For this, I have to head over to the Argus Zone and work my way over to Antorus the Burning Throne. Once I'm there, I make sure I'm on Mythic, and I head in. I head back to Argus the Unmaker, I take him down, and I get attempt number 83 on the Scythe of the Unmaker. Yet again, I didn't see it drop this week, so I'll be back here next week, keep my fingers crossed, and hopefully I have a little better luck then. After striking out on my Scythe, I figured I'd start my mount farms. First up was the Hellfire Inferno, and this drops in Nighthold. Once I made my way over there, I set it to Mythic, headed in, and worked my way back to Gul'dan. I took him out pretty quick and got attempt number 74 on this mount. I didn't see it drop again this week, so I'll be back here next week, and hopefully I have a little better luck then. Up next I headed to Oldwar. Out of here I'm after Mimron's head. But on my way up there I always looked for the time loss Proto Drake. I don't ever see him, but one day I'll get lucky. Once I got up to the raid, I headed in and I worked my way back to Yogg-Saron. He went down pretty fast, but again this week he didn't drop his mount. So I'll be back here next week. Next on my list was Gmod and the Glacial Tidestorm. For this I have to find a group in Group Finder because I just can't solo it. But being I'm doing it in a group, it allows me to do Gmod and the Glacial Tidestorm both at one time. But first up was Gmod. I got up to attempt number 8 on this, but I still didn't see one drop. So I'll just have to try again next week. After that we worked our way back to Jaina. This one can be a little tricky. People like to separate and you just need to stay in a group. As long as you stay grouped up you don't get frozen. After a few attempts we finally did get her down. And I got attempt number 6 on her mount. I just didn't see it drop again this week. So I'll just have to come back here next week and try for both of them. Last up is my multi-character farm. And if you're not familiar with this, what I do is I take 13 characters every week to the same dungeon until I get the item or mount I'm farming to drop. And right now I'm working on Operation Mechagon for the Mechagon Peacekeeper. So let's take a look and see how I did. Who will pay 
Well there we go, attempt number 24 on the Mechagon Peacekeeper, and I didn't see him this week. I'll be back here next week, and we'll see if my luck is any better then. And just an FYI, this is one of the last 5-man mounts I need in the entire game. I think the only 5-man mount I will have left after this is out of Tassivesh, the Vild Market, and if you don't have a group that seems like it might be hard to do. So I'm not sure when I'll make it to that one. And finally, if you're wondering this week, I'm modeling the Vestments of the Eternal Traveler. You got these when you pre-ordered Shadowlands. So I believe even if you didn't pre-order the expansion, if you know someone that did, and they have the mount, they can pull it out and bring up the quest giver for you. And it will allow you to get these if there are something you're interested in. But hey, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. You can click on subscribe. Thanks for coming by and watching it. I'm going to send a hi to my best friend, and you all take care.